how to have somebody at home help you with internal pelvic floor work. Hi, welcome to our Ed Talks, little snippets of education to help you heal and feel empowered. I'm Justine Calderwood, pelvic floor physical therapist and certified birth healing practitioner. I get asked this a lot by patients of mine, particularly patients that are pregnant and they're wanting to continue some of the work that we're doing here in the clinic, some internal pelvic floor release where we um, release into the pelvic floor muscles intravaginally and especially for pregnant mamas it can be really hard to reach into the areas that they need to to do some self-care at home this is something that i talk to a lot with my patients whether they're pregnant or not on being able to do some self-care um, to carry over what we're doing in the clinic to what they're able to do at home by themselves however as you can imagine um, during pregnancy, especially, you know, second, third trimester, it can be really hard with growing baby for um, a mom to be able to reach into her pelvic floor and do that uh, gentle release work that I teach. So I highly encourage them to bring in their spouse or a partner, somebody that they feel that they can trust and that they um, want to receive some help um, from at home. Um, so it's definitely possible. It's something that I do here at the healing spot for my patients. I have them bring in their spouse or bring in their partner um, and I teach them that. And um, so I want to just talk a little bit today about kind of what that looks like. Um, not necessarily, I'm not going to go over really the ins and outs of what we do um, because that's so individual as far as what someone might need. It's something that we start just one-on-one -on -one with, um, with my patients and then when they're ready or they want to um, bring in help from a partner, I just have them come in um, to an appointment <clears throat> with a patient and really they don't get to see a whole lot but what I do is I get my pelvic models out and I really start showing them um, just anatomy. You know, a lot of um, people don't really even know their anatomy, even uh, women, but um, you know, a lot of my patients are uh, married to men. And so um, going over just female anatomy on what to expect and um, you know, the structures that we're really working with, the, the pelvic floor muscles. Um, so we go over models, I answer any questions that they have, um, show them set up, meaning like, how do I support my patients um, here in the clinic? We use pillows underneath the um, hips. We get into kind of a butterfly position um, so that pelvic floor is um, just kind of stretched a little bit rela well, relaxed as well. Um, and then I give them tips and tricks on ways to be successful at home. Um, so that's just, basically a conversation. And a lot of times, um, you know, those spouses have questions. Um, they feel like they don't want to hurt their wife. They don't want to do anything um, that's going to hurt baby, anything like that. So we um, also talk about those fears and how to, you know, like give them reassurance, all of that good stuff. Um, so that's basically what it looks like in the clinic um, is to go over the pelvic model and then I do some of that internal pelvic floor release that my patient is already familiar with, already used to, while spouse is in the room. And again, even though they're not necessarily in there trying to see anything, because it's really hard to see, it's, it's really something with internal pelvic floor release that's done more by touch and having that gentleness in um, being able to assess the tissues. Is there tightness? Is there any pain? Um, you know, we're always respecting um, the tissues, always respecting that pelvic floor area. And of course, the patient is always in control of her own body. Um, so that just gives you a little bit of what to expect if you are um, coming into the healing spot and you are curious about having maybe your partner at home help you, whether or not you're pregnant. Um, because even when you're not pregnant, you, you can reach better um, it's still sometimes not ideal to do your own pelvic floor work. It can be really beneficial to have a partner be able to um, release those tight areas or painful areas when you can just be kind of relaxed and receive the work instead of trying to be both, you know, receiver and giver or, you know, doing your own self-care. So, all right. Um, that's all I wanted to cover today in this Ed Talk. Uh, if you have any questions at all that you want answered, please let us know, you know, reply to this email or reach out to us. 
and uh, let us know what you'd like to have answered. Um, if you do have further questions, if you're curious about pelvic floor work, you're having some um, you know, concerns, pain or uh, symptoms like prolapse or urinary incontinence, fecal incontinence, or even diastasis, um, you feel weak in your pelvic floor or your core, reach out to us here at The Healing Spot. We would love to answer any questions that you have, um, give you some reassurance, give you some valuable information. Um, head to our website, healingspotpt.com, and choose whatever um, next step works well for you. There's a, a lot of different options there. Thank you for watching. Thank you.